wondered how it is possible that you still remember the rhymes from your childhood. I was surprised that I still remember long and complex verbal instructions from my martial arts training that I have not practiced for over a decade. The answer? Body movements. Gestures. Gesturing is humanity's first language. As a child, you gestured fluently before you could speak fluently. You waved, pointed and used your head and body to communicate, right? If you observe prominent public speakers, it's almost like they are painting a picture with their hands and body. Guess what? That is one of the biggest secrets in remembering what to say. Gestures. Most of them don't even know that. It is an automatic built-in function for humans that can be consciously utilized for effective communication. When researchers observed people talking and gesturing, they found that gestures indicated what they were about to say a second or two before they said it. It is a prerequisite for powerful communication. In the book, The Extended Mind, the author says, when people are prevented from gesturing, they talk less fluently. Their speech gets choked because their hands are no longer able to supply them with the flow of words. Not just with effective communication or making a powerful presentation. You can use gestures in your learning too. If you gesture as you learn, you'll retain more information. As you move your hands in space, you create multiple mental hooks into the material you're learning. And you can use these hooks to draw out information whenever you need. How much of this power of gesturing have you been using? How would you intentionally take advantage of it? All the best.